Hi, I'm Alex Juhas with FemTechNet, and I'm going to be interviewing Elizabeth Losh about the keyword archive. So, Liz, um, how do we think about archives with political ephemera? Um, so, we have an, a, an interesting situation where a lot of government documents are actually being transmitted through social media. So the idea is that this is supposed to promote certain kinds of democratic exchanges, and this is supposed to be reaching the public in the best possible way. Unfortunately, we're using commercial sites, social network sites, things like YouTube, uh, in order to do that. Um, and those sites are not really designed to be archives of government documents. Instead, they're designed to be um, platforms for targeted advertising. And so there's a lot of political ephemera that's being created um, not only by institutions, but also by users. That's part of our political speech in the contemporary era. But um, there's a question about who's going to think about the future of the, those electronic artifacts and what's going to happen to them. How does that affect the political process? I think that there's something, I call it pseudo-interactivity, this idea that we can participate by creating images and that that constitutes a form of deliberation, I'm not sure that always works. I think that just because you create a video back to the president, um, that doesn't really mean anything. So um, that's the end of our keyword. Thanks for watching. And we might suggest that you would want to make or watch a video about the keyword ephemera. Thank you.